Okay, good evening folks. Um, here again, um, I like to, to, to discuss a topic, or put a topic uh, on, the, on the YouTube. Um, and the subject is, heaven versus hell. Is, is, is there a heaven? Is there a hell? And how do we know? Can we know something about it? Um, if yes, what, what's known about it uh, 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 from facts? Okay, but I first like to start with, uh, with a, a piece of the Bible. And that is uh, from Luke chapter 16, reading from verse 19. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and was fed. Um, some chewers every day. He was uh, celebrating parties apparently every day, uh, lots of days. This is what Jesus is telling. Uh, Jesus is uh, uh, um, uh, telling a story uh, to the Pharisees. Uh, okay. And there was a beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate, at the gate of the rich man, uh, full of sores. Uh, he was ill and had full of, full of uh, things on his body, and he, not, not nice and desired to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his, his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom, bo uh, bosom uh, lap, in his lap, uh, so, something apparently. The rich man also died and he was buried. And in hell he lifts up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth uh, Abraham uh, afar off. So he saw Abraham at uh, a far distance. Yeah? And Lazarus in his bosom, in his lap, uh, being with him, taken care of by, by Abraham. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. So hell is flame. Torment and flame. Yeah? Take care of it. You don't want that. Uh, and beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf uh, fixed, a, a great uh, um, um, space in between. You, you cannot cross it. Um, <coughs> by the way, this is, this is the re reason uh, Jesus talks about this, uh, um, that Abraham and Lazarus is in heaven, yeah, is in a nice place, and uh, the, the rich man is in hell. So uh, some people argue, well, hey, there is nobody is in hell or heaven yet. Uh, well, this story proves differently, directly. Okay, that's another subject. Um, so that, um, and um, besides all this, between us and um, oh no, wait, 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 wait. But Abraham um, cooled my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said. Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. So uh, Lazarus received evil, he was uh, poor and he was uh, li like a, a beggar, etc. Um, but now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. Yeah, so the things changed. Yeah. And besides all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, a great deep uh, thing, uh, space. So that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us. And uh, that uh, would come from, uh, from thence, uh, from there. So people cannot cross that gap. Yeah? Then he said, I pray thee, therefore, Father, um, he is referring to Father Abraham, that thou would send him to my father's house. For I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them, that Lazarus may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment, so that they don't come in, 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 in this place where I am at. I, be, I don't want my brothers to come here. Because it's bad. Don't send Lazarus to, to my brothers and to my father's house and tell them uh, that they don't end up here. Yeah? <clears throat> At least have mercy on my brothers. Uh, that, that's the question, actually. Okay. okay. Abram said uh, unto them, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. 
And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went uh, unto them from the dead, they will repent. So if one from the dead is coming, then they will say, Oh, hey, somebody's coming from the dead, and now we believe him. That's the, the, the argument of the, of the rich man who is in torment. Yeah? And he said unto him, and Abraham said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they uh, be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. So Abraham says, well, that's fine, but they should listen in the first place to Moses, the Old Testament, the, uh, the Tanakh. Yeah? Um, Moses and the prophets and if they don't listen to Moses and the prophets well anybody can stand up from the dead but they will not listen and they will not repent okay well Jesus told this story <coughs> so and um, okay so Jesus told this and I think was a little bit yeah, oh, it's better. Okay, and uh, Jesus told this, and I think it's a little bit prophetic, because Jesus knew that people indeed would rise from the dead, because Jesus rose people from the dead. Another Lazarus, the Lazarus, the brother of Mary and Martha, was raised from the dead, yeah, by Jesus himself. So Jesus, uh, Lazarus, come out of the grave and. Folks, uh, get, get this cloth out, the, the, the death cloth, after four days in, laying in the grave. I think that's, that's why also the, the name of Lazarus was used for in this uh, description. So actually I think that Jesus was prophesying about people standing up from the dead. Yeah, okay, well, now go, we go now to the present day and the, and the, and the recent history. I got here some books and, and some, some, some material. Okay. <coughs> Um, first we go to the Christian sources there are two, way, two sources Christian and non-Christian uh, first I, I discuss uh, I talk you, uh, let you show you uh, the, the Christian sources and then the non-Christian sources ok there is a guy uh, Ian McCormack and I don't know when this exactly happened but uh, he tells it in the, in, in the, in the, in the movie and this movie is from uh, 2007, I see. Okay. This is a movie about Ian McCormack. Ian McCormack, that's this guy on the back. A uh, little photo so you won't probably see it. This guy, um, he, became, he, he, went, he became dead. He, he, he went dead. And he was stung by, by some, uh, um, how do you call them? A jellyfish, a very poisonous jellyfish. He was five times struck by them, and so uh, after one strike, you you can, you you're killed. You, uh, the poison runs through your body, and you're killed. But he was struck five times. So, but uh, um, he died. Yeah. But before he died, he repented and he uh, prayed to, to 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 Jesus, and but he also uh, etc. But he sees heaven and a part of hell yeah well how that happens is described in this movie you can see it on, on um, the, the film is called uh, A Glimpse of Eternity well the, the, the internet site is called a aglimpseofeternity.org O-R-G yeah. I put it on the, on the yeah, aglimpseofeternity.org the, the story of Ian McCormack well this is a true story it, it's, it's not made up it, it's uh, just quite recently uh, I mean, this guy still lives, uh, and he talks about it. He has got an internet site, um, a glimpse of eternity. He explains all all things about it. You can see this movie, uh, maybe a li little less quality than the mo this movie the DVD itself. Uh, you can you can buy this DVD. Uh, I bought. You can buy it in Holland for about two euros, and you can copy it and and distribute it for, for evangelizing or stuff like that. But this is a real happened story. This man died and he saw a piece of the hell and he saw a piece of the heaven. Yeah, this is a real testimony. Okay, next. This guy, this is Don Piper. And he's just one of the, uh, a couple of people who really died. And uh, this guy, guy was uh, uh, drove over by a truck and he died. Uh, he didn't ask for it, it just happened, he died. And God allowed this, and God used this, 
because uh, uh, Don Piper, uh, he, of course, he didn't ask for it and he didn't like it, of course. I mean, nobody wants to die in, in, in a terrible way like this. I mean, uh, this is the picture of his, his car after the crash. And, um, and also some picture of him laying in the hospital. But God used this. Here, here, here he's laying in the hospital. It, maybe it's, it's not, not very visible, okay. But he was laying in the hospital and, and he, was, he, he saw also a piece of heaven. Also he met people who are already in heaven. Yeah? So some people say, well, people don't, uh, are, are not in heaven uh, right now, that cannot be, and so on. So there's a discussion on YouTube, on my YouTube site, of, well, the, the, nobody went to, uh, is in, hell, in heaven or in hell right now. Well, okay, Th these books and these testimonies and these happenings prove different. And this is from Christian uh, 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 resources. Uh, I, there's uh, an internet site, uh, 90 Minutes in Heaven. Uh, and also uh, Don Piper Ministries. I think it is also uh, 90 Minutes in Heaven dot com or dot org. I don't know. Uh, well, it's it, it written somewhere here, but I cannot find it right right away. Okay, but you can find it if you, if you type in uh, 90 Minutes in Heaven Don Piper, then you will come automatically at, at his uh, his site. Also uh, the. Um, side of uh, Don Piper Ministries I wrote it down here so you can see it in a moment um, he, was, he, he was a Christian before uh, um, before this accident happened and uh, uh, he saw some people in heaven and, um, but there's also a real true story that happened Ma not many people uh, uh, here it says a true, a true, true story uh, happened about death and life yeah. God allowed this to happen so he can tell and there's more, more people like him who can, so they can tell that there is a heaven and that there is a hell yeah. because we read this, the, the story from the Bible about, uh, in uh, was it, uh, Luke uh, 16 Luke 16 did I mention it? Luke 16 it is Alright, look 16, look, 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 look,